There's Lucas. <laughs> he drives a 1994 Mercury Cougar with the, the 4.6 V8 in it. And he was unfortunate enough to, his brakes stopped working on the way home from work, so we're going to blame this guy. That's your master cylinder. So we're going to show you how to anyway, change one. This is what you want. This is a flared wrench or a line wrench. It's kind of a almost a closed end. You want that because it fits over the line, but it gives you more torque on the on the bolt than a open end wrench. But we don't have the right size, so we're gonna have to use an open end wrench. I already took the lines off. You want to take the lines off before you loosen the master cylinder from the uh, car, because otherwise. You know, you're going to have to hold the cylinder while you're trying to loosen these. If you leave it mounted and loosen these, they'll come off easier. So I already pulled the lines off. And then uh, there's two. There's a mounting bolt right there. And one right uh, there. I already took the one off. So okay, take so one we off. have all the bolts out. We're going to attempt to, oh sorry, both nuts off. We're going to try to pull it out now. Get your goddamn lines out of Oh, son of a bitch, look at that. We got a fucking line in the way. So, fucking A. Knucklehead doesn't have any tools, so we're using a vice grip. It's advisable to take all the shit off that's connected to it. That, that kind of helped take it off a little easier. So, we just shimmy on the clamp down like so. Yeah. Oh, man. Alright, I'm going to... I'm gonna pull it off anyway. Oh, there's some washers on here. One on the other side too. Don't drop it. Aha. Okay. Just yank this son of a bitch off. Yanking? Yank it. You don't wanna to be too forced. Jesus. Oh. What they glue this thing on? bunch of wiener heads? No, they taped it on. There's no tape. Looks like tape. It's a hose. It's a hose. Yeah, it's a bit it's right there. Come back on. Oh, we'll just wiggle. Oh. Don't break it now. All right, careful. There's still fluid in the reservoir here, so. Jesus. Jesus. You may not want to do that over any wires, Tony. Why? Where's the cap? Right here. You're afraid it's gonna fly right at you, aren't you? <laughs> here it goes! Here she comes! She's going, yeah! Ready? <laughs> Don't get brake fluid on your paint. No good for it. Okay, so to get this kind of reservoir off, there's that little pin right there. And there's another one there, I already took it out. Observe. Now since we have a lack of tools here, I'm using, we should be using a punch, a real small punch, but I'm using a nail. Where the fuck right there, you? hold this too. <laughs> oh, what a tricky guy. He's a tricky one. Give it a couple smacks. Okay. Old master cylinder. Pull it off. You may want to stand back for this. <laughs> you know, I never know. Oh, screwdriver. There we go. Got a crusty. Pry it pry. apart. You gotta be gently, gently prying with it though. You don't want to want to break the plastic for sure. Otherwise, you need a new reservoir. Yeah, Plus, of course, your new master came with one. Then who gives a damn? You don't even need to be doing this part to begin with, though. More prying. Yeah, this doesn't take more than a minute. <laughs> Shut up. Hey! <laughs> like yeah, a fish course, out of water. It goes, it goes on the ground. He doesn't even try saving it. <laughs> Quality forward material. I don't need to save it. Alright. So. 
you make sure it's the right way and pop her in like so huh look at that oh whoops wrong way no no it's the right way yeah does it matter well yeah you gotta you know, when we took it off, the sensor was on this side, so and this is the front of the master, so you want to put it on. Now you got to pound way. your pins back. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you before, when you're pounding the pins out, this hole is smaller than this hole, which means you have to drive them out from this way, push it that way. So when you put them in, you want to put them in this way. A lot of times there's just a clamp that holds the master on, but, you know, Ford sucks, so they make a... They make it harder for you. make it harder for me. Cause I hate you, Tony. The uh, world hates me. <laughs> Get in there. Whoops. Did you just break it? <laughs> hey, you didn't Whoops. break nothing. Of course, it's Ford property, right? Of course, that one goes nice and easy. All right. So sometimes there's a rubber boot stuck in your booster there. It might still be. Or on your uh, master cylinder if if there is you should take it off because your new cylinder should have one on there now what I did I pounded them pins in and what you want to do is you want to fill up the reservoir now to bench bleed the uh, master cylinder well since this has a little drain in it I plugged it with a rag alright so you look at your cap and it should say what kind of brake fluid you use this says DOT3 so don't all cars say DOT3? Nope, some are DOT4. Oh, really? They're both, I believe, oh, yeah. DOT3 and 4 are both either glycol or silicone based. I don't remember which one. And DOT5 is the opposite of what those are. You don't want to mix 5 with 3 or 4, but you can mix 3 and 4 together. The only difference is the boiling point of DOT3 is about 311 degrees and DOT4 is 420 some degrees so but they're the same you can mix them so what you want to do is fill it we should have a rag at the bottom. And the, yeah, it's probably going to leak anyway, but fill it. And you come over here. Come, come. You push in. And then put your fingers over the holes that the lines are going to screw into and let back out. What you're doing is you're getting all the air out of the system. So you want to have your fingers on there. And you push in again. Fingers off, fingers back on, out. So what you're doing is, when you're pushing in, you're forcing all the air out. And by putting your fingers over the holes and having this come back out, that's, it's not sucking any more air in. Instead, it's sucking the fluid in from here into there. So we keep doing that. Shouldn't you take your fingers off before you push in? Nope. You want to do it while you're pushing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> got the camera, man. <laughs> Stand over here. <laughs> well, so, but anyway, you want to keep an eye on your fluid level. No, look at this. Well, look at the fluid level in the reservoir. You want to keep an eye on that because if you're bleeding and bleeding and bleeding, and then this runs out of fluid, it's going to start sucking air, and you got to start all over. Go slowly so you don't get your camera, man. You keep going until it comes out of both these holes. I should say you keep going until it's 100% liquid. If you got liquid coming out but it's bubbling at you, you still gotta keep going. Rubber gloves would be nice for this part. Oop! Got the cameraman again. No, you didn't. Yeah, you're gonna make a mess, by the way, so it's good to lay like cardboard down or something. Oh, yeah! 
I think we're good. We might have to go buy another one. <laughs> Jeez. Give a f Okay. Bench bled. I need a rip. We got it everywhere. <laughs> that is the tip to a good success. You must have it everywhere. <laughs> Remember not to do it anywhere near paint because brake fluid likes to take your paint off of shit, so. Well, did you get That's in? okay, we can we can wipe that up. I'm talking about what did you get on the Fiero? Alright. No, I didn't get it on the Fiero. <laughs> <laughs> Must be working too hard. <laughs> now we're gonna go over and put the bitch in, eh? Fucking do it hanging down. <laughs> Wouldn't the brake fluid run out? No, because of that. I mean Out of these holes you mean? Yeah. No. Because the master cylinder is holding it in. It doesn't Fluid doesn't come out of here until you push on this. So basically, here's what you do. When you push your pedal down, that little rod down in your booster pushes on this plunger, and it forces liquid out both of Where these the lines. Where's the plunger, Tony? That plunger goes, no, in, the, that the, goes in here. This pushes in, and fluid comes out here. There's only two lines because the, the one line... Goes to the Splits front. off. No, it goes to I believe your right rear and your left front. Why it, it it, one line comes off of here, and then it splits and goes to right rear, left front. Then the other one comes off, splits, goes to right front, left rear. So it's diagonally split. So not all of your front or rear are relying on one in case one of these lines breaks. So gotta make sure we're full on fluid. We don't want it. To get air in it. We might have Here's to what I'll do. I'll tip it upside down now. And put the... Make sure the cap is on the top. Cap, cap, oh man, make sure the cap's on the top before you do this. Ah, look at that, huh? Professional. Yeah, it says the person gets all of the cameraman. Dude, I watched Eric the Car Guy's video and he got his cameraman too. So it's just Don't forget thing. to put your clamp back on. You gotta make sure... Now you're watching. You want to get that nipple in that hole. <laughs> Alright, ain't gonna work. You gotta put the rod in the hole. You gotta put the rod in the hole. Now, yeah. before you tighten down these mountain nuts, mounting nuts, start your lines because these, these steel lines don't have a lot of uh, give in them. So if you tighten down your cylinder, sometimes uh, you Ew. can't get the lines started. Or you can't get the lines in. Right, you just get them started, you don't need to tighten them all the way right now. You've already said that, Tony. Already. Well now who the hell bent this fucker? <coughs> Alright, so, when I pulled this out, I accidentally bent the line a bit. Make sure not to do that. Um, I was able to carefully bend it back, but you know, if you bend it too far, it's gonna, it's gonna kink or snap. And if it kinks, well, no fluid's gonna go through it. And if it breaks, well, your no. fluid's gonna come out. And you're gonna get air in your lines. And you're gonna get air in your lines again. Okay, then you have to redo this all over again. But, but then. Gotta check our fluid. Still good. Then if it kinks or breaks, Tony, you, you have to replace all the lines or just no, that one? No, you would just replace the line that you broke. And then you'd have to re bleed the system again. I'm telling you, are we gonna have to do the brakes? No, because we bench blood this, we shouldn't have to. But we should. We shouldn't have to bleed the brake calipers, but it's good policy to do that. On because all a little air, even little air bubbles in your system could give you a spongy brake. Alright, so pedal. we were bleeding the brakes, and I heard this nice bubbly whistling noise. So I looked under here, and it looks like his front brake lines rusted through. So, look at that. Uh, we're gonna have to pull the brake lines yeah. when I think that's the one that runs to the master cylinder. Um, that one right there runs all the way down there and then disappears into a mountain of crap and then goes back down there. So we gotta replace that and re bleed the whole system. 